Tempest Love Letter is a quick and light deduction game from designers Seiji Kanai and AEG. In Love Letter, players manipulate the members of Princess Annette's court to get their love letter to the princess and win her affection. It supports from two to four players and is playable in less than half an hour. At the start of Love Letter, the draw deck is shuffled and one card is removed from it and placed face down. Next, each player draws one card and the game begins. Each card has an effect as well as a value that's listed in its upper left. On their turn, a player draws a second card from the deck and then plays one of the cards from their hand face up on the table and immediately triggers its effect. Now this effect has to be used even if it's negative. The guard lets you knock an opponent out of the round if you can correctly guess the card in their hand. The priest lets you look at another player's hand and the Baron lets you compare your hand to another player's hand and the player with the lowest score gets knocked out of the round. The Handmaid lets you ignore the effects of other players' cards until your next turn, and the Prince lets you force another player to discard their hand and draw a new card. The King lets you trade hands with another player, while the Countess must be discarded if she ends up in the same hand as a King or a Prince. If you have to discard the princess, then you are out of the round. Now, if you're out of the round, you place your hand face up on the table and you can take no more turns until the next round. The round ends when you either run out of draw cards in the draw deck or if there's only one player left standing. That sole survivor wins the round. Otherwise, players compare the values of their hands and the player with the highest value got the closest to the princess and so wins the round. The winner gets one token of the princess's affection, and a new round begins. Now, the first player to reach either four, five, or seven tokens, depending on how many players they are, wins the game. So I like Love Letter. It's cute, it's short, it's fun, really easy to learn, very portable, there's no board to worry about. This kind of feels like the sort of game that I'd play in a convention lineup. Uh, also, all ages can play. Uh, there's, there's no reason to filter your audience here. Uh, one potential con to this game is it is probably at its weakest when you're playing with two players. Uh, it's still fun, but you're certainly not getting the, the full breadth of the game, and it's not going to be as strong a game. So I'd aim for playing it with three or four players. One weakness that I really find with the two-player game, and that can happen also elsewhere, uh, is that the luck of the draw can sometimes just completely hose you. That is an element of randomness in this game, and it does mean that every couple rounds you're going to end up with a draw that might knock out your strongest card or otherwise just weaken you in a way that you can't really adjust for through strategy, and it's not really punishing you for poor play, it's just something that happens. Now, most of the time, the card combinations that you end up with are going to let you set up some really interesting strategies. There's some combos where you can really kind of start planning ahead for what you're going to do in a couple of rounds, and there's a surprising amount of long-term thinking that can happen in a game that is so quick and so simple. I'm also going to point to the production values on this game because they're pretty exceptional for a filler. This is a very quick, very light game, but there was so much care put into its production. It's got great components, it's got gorgeous art, there's been some real effort put into the theme and into tying everything together, and it really does make this just feel a little bit special.